Another airline taken to the skies in a big way is Rwanda Air. In the past two months, they've taken delivery of two brand new Boeing 737-800s with Sky Interior. Their aim is to own a combined fleet of 18 by the year 2020. Seventeen years ago, this country was uh, had basically gone to the dogs. When uh, genocide took place, a million souls disappeared uh, over a hundred days. The rebirth also of Rwanda comes in line with the rebirth of the nation. If we are going to continue attracting investment, tourism, and business in the country, the country must be access, accessible. It, it became imperative that uh, if we must uh, sustain the growth that the country is currently uh, registering, then a strong uh, and reliable airline be created. There's every reason to celebrate the slick new bird's arrival. <laughs> The additions to the fleet are remarkable and welcomed, but the burning question is, where are the passengers going to come from? What sensible airlines and what we are doing as an airline is that beyond meeting the capacity that there is, or trying to meet the capacity or the demand as well, we, we are trying to, to, to create the demand. We have intentions of making demystifying flying, making flying an everyday thing for everybody on this continent. Africa is still the most underserviced continent in the world in terms of aviation. So the market is still there, we will all feel good. Actually the more the merrier because you cannot be in every spot at all times. As we, we join the club, we will establish alliances, partnerships that will only feed and defeat us. So for me, I'm not scared at this point.